All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video for um, the brand new comic. We're, uh, like I said there, we're on the Steam version now going forward. I got rid of the standalone. I am going to let about probably the end of the month um, get cancel the subscription with that other third-party vendor. Use Steam's marketplace. It'll be much better. But I hear once you cancel, it, it, it literally cancels it right away. So I don't want to do that right now. It doesn't refund you for the difference. But that could be a glitch. I don't, you know, who knows? You get to, of course, talk to, to, to uh, support. But I'm just going to wait. And then next month, I'll start a new. Get a lot of good value. All right. So let's name this Bat Eye. No. Okay. Oh, we still can't do spaces anymore. Used to be able to. Anyway, so Poison Ivy and Batman Who Laughs. He is more of a controlly mid rangey um, uh, leader. He's not aggressive. I mean, he could technically be one. We actually have a Wonder Woman Batman Who Laughs. I think we're going to showcase. We're going to definitely do it again. Also, the buying Batman and Superman deck I've updated, so we're definitely going to showcase the differences for that. It's going to be awesome. So, this deck has Two Face Riddler, so it's good. Partners of Crime. Freeze, Man Bat. I like Lord Death Man, especially you'll see in a second. Venus Flytrap, my Venus Flytrap, uh, Ivy's Flytrap. Trick or Treat, great card. General, I, I'm not 100% certain on this, but we'll see. We might cut it for a different bronze recruit or maybe um, something like uh, the bigger they are. Anyways. So calling uh, indoctrinate uh, excellent high uh, people high places or friends high places. We have him, and that's why we have uh, like uh, bursting boom boom tube to kind of support him. Of course, be careful, guys. If he's the only recruit on the board, he will sacrifice himself. So keep that in mind. Captain Cold, Black Manta. I have her in there instead of the heart. The harder they are, the bigger they are. Because I, she gets aggression. She's technically kind of support for Batman Who Laughs. Because uh, imagine having the 7-7 seven, seven being able to attack twice. It's pretty powerful. The Dama, because this is technically more of a control deck. Obviously, Black Dark Side. One copy of him. I think that'll be enough. Omega Beams, just one. Brainiac, just one. The reason is because uh, we do have... You know, Ivy tends to have good card draw. I'm thinking about a second Brainiac for a minion and getting rid of this. I've never been a fan of Appetite for Conquest two times. One's great, but two? Well, we'll see, we'll see. And the curve of the deck is pretty even. Steven for bronze and silvers. Gold at eight. We have actions and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how it does. I hope it does well. Uh. And if not, well, we'll keep drawing, go on the drawing board. But uh, like I said, a big consideration is the bigger they are might be uh, instead of Giganta because uh, it is more of a control type card, being able to remove your Robins. So, um, what's it called? Um, Superman, uh, Recruit, stuff like that. It's just so much tempo and you don't have to sacrifice your own recruits in order to do that. But with him, I'm kind of thinking maybe he'll do... A lot of the cleanup work. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start some games. Whoa, we almost have a mirror. Almost have a mirror. Do, do we ever keep cold against this? Probably not. Uh, truth. Uh, ooh, this is a good start. Um, we did change. I was thinking about it. We did change and got rid of uh, Giganta for the bigger they are because the bigger they are is just more of a control type card it allows us to get really good stuff is he ever going to trade into the riddler or do we do this ah, let's see if we get riddler on the board oh batgirl's excellent i don't know uh if batman who blasts is the best combo though for her oh that's excellent uh, i i don't know if they're the best combo because she's more of hmm Okay, that makes absolutely no sense. But why would you do that? But okay, whatever. So we're going to definitely do... Hmm. Uh, I don't know. We're going to do... 
this. Do this. Do this. Let's do trick or treat instead of the plant. Reason being is just in case they remove, um, cause I kind of want to protect it and they're most likely going to give me the card draw. Whoa. So we don't need the trap just yet. Well, okay. I'll take it. So she's going to die soon. That's excellent. We need to deal with that. And we will. Effectively. I don't know. If they. Uh, the homeboy. Paco, he come. She gets charged. He gets charged. That's pretty devastating for us. We have to double trade into that. That's going to suck. No, we're not. We're going to probably trade the plant and his minion and Riddler. Ah. <sighs> We could possibly do well we'll see i mean there's a possibility she cl clears the trap oh, that's gonna be devastating where's our um where's our um the bigger they are i'll put it in here for yeah bigger they are is just better because uh if we do check out this she gets on board she's a big threat but if they're ahead on board then that she gets nullified pretty instantaneously or they ignore her you fall behind so yeah bigger they are is just better for control all right that's not the worst outcome all right the calling is not something we really need right now so let's do let's look at our we're gonna do this definitely do that um definitely do this Oh, do we ever do Riddler just for? Yeah, that has to die. And then she can be killed next turn. Since, uh, well, we don't know where it's going to go. We're going to spread the wealth because uh, Black Manta kills her. Okay, and we'll do this to protect the Batman who laughs. All right, I'll take it. So she cannot swing into Black Manta. His minion does kill. Wow. Okay. They keep giving me good cards. Um, his minion does kill kill uh, him. So that's good. The Riddler's giving me such value. I love this card, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, we don't care about that. They're probably buffing this for the two attack. Unless they want to try to kill this. But they kind of have to get rid of this, right? I do like the feel of this deck so far. I mean, Tyranny's an excellent... Interesting. I don't know if my opponent... Oh, so they're gonna... Oh, okay. Are we ever gonna get... What's it called? Um, do this. We can't kill that. That's really, really bad. Uh, we could do the calling, but we, wh wh whoops, no, we're not going to do this. Let's do that. We'll kill that. And then we'll chill. This has Hunter, unfortunately. Oh, it has to have Adrenaline, so it's not, doesn't have Hunter, but it can kill my trap, which is fine. We actually kind of need to get, don't need card draw anymore. Imagine that. Having too much card advantage. Ooh. All right. That's really, really good. We have Dark Side, which then will prevent a blocker for the Batman who laughs. Yeah, well, actually, this is... Luckily, he doesn't have a lot of board space. All right, cool, cool. All right, yeah, he finally had enough of that garbage. This trades into here. Or, or well, my opponent does it for me. Uh... We could kill these two with calling and that, but, ooh, do we ever do this? Get rid of this, guaranteed, or we could do this, that gets rid of that. I kind of like this. Come on, cards. That gets rid of two minions. 
Oh my god. Oh, that was not what I wanted to play, guys. Because of that, we're going to do this. I wanted to... I wanted to... Uh, you guys saw how much I wanted to do Appetite for for Conquest to get rid of these two. So for that, we'll do this. We could try to do a 50-50 on that. And this lives, right? But it's a 50-50 only, though. That's what sucks. I mean, is it worth it? This is five damage. I kind of think we get rid of those, but... Let's do the 50 50. We're always about risk here. Let's go. Do we ever summon this? If it goes back here, it's great. If it goes here, hey, it's a blocker. So I don't like always, since she's at two charges, I don't mind, or she'll be at two charges next turn. I don't mind. Um, the issue is sometimes you want to kind of save her for, you know, combos or something like that. Like if you get the, uh, Fly trap down, stuff like that. All right, well, we can kill that with a calling. Oh, well, that's where the calling, so this is gonna be a very good turn for us. And then this kills this, or do they hit the dome? This actually almost gets out of range. <laughs> that's amazing. This unfortunately dies, but that's fine. Then we'll do Appetite. All right, cool. Oh, fuck. It's out of range. That's so unfortunate. So unfortunate. But I think we do this anyway. Oh, oh, please. There we go. Yeah, they need to improve that. So it goes into range. We do the calling. We do this. And I think this is pretty GG. Because there's nothing left but RNG. No RNG to deal with. Uh, the, this. And GG. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a clicking issue. But uh, other than that, though, I love the feel of this deck. Let's go to the next one. Hal Jordan and the Joker. Combo you do not see very often. All right. So we actually have excellent. Excellent early game. We're not going to get rid of that because that's pretty good. Captain Cole's really good. No, well, not so great, but because these are slower leaders. Well, double captains, right? This we're not putting as a blocker because it can't protect. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So we might actually update this, get rid of Lord Deathman now that we got rid of I don't know. I'm going to probably put her back in, guys, to tell you the truth. Because I think, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it, uh, if you're ahead, you, it's good. Uh, the bigger they are, well, thinking of which, the bigger they are, this can't die, right? I mean, this has one more health. Uh, let's, I guess, protect. Uh, let's use the new card. It can't protect, so might as well put it back there. It doesn't really contest anything. I think this is a bad matchup, though. We're gonna, her, Their pings are just going to be insane. Yeah, I don't think, like, against a matchup like this, uh, Gigantus is probably better. Because they, they, uh, they, um, that's really good. Yeah, we don't have any, we need the calling, actually. Thinking of which, we should have kept that, we mulligan, it's so important to, to mulligan correctly in this game, guys. And we did do not, we did, we did not do that, so we have to remember the matchups. Ivy's online, he's not online yet, uh, oh, Trick or Treat's excellent this do this actually that was a little bit of a misplay because we could have uh did we ever kill that we leave it actually so that he doesn't put another oh this has oh i forgot it has hunter let's go yeah i like this card so we got rid of that which is big of course they're gonna probably put another one Wow, they take the damage. Intriguing. That's extremely risky. Well, I'm not really an aggressive deck, but I don't know. Oh, it's kind of risky. Oh, well. That's probably GG. No, it's not. We, we could remove it pretty easily. Let's hope we get a bronze. So this is where having... um. Oh, this there. 
this is where having um bigger they are is awesome because we just remove a big threat well we can only do this let's hit the joker first well never lucky well we're gonna take a shit ton of bad damage if they have this is probably gg this is like ah, gonna be a tough matchup for us guys they're gonna have a lot of value they're gonna have a lot of tempo uh, a lot of stuff that we just cannot compete with in our hands. Extro extremely atrocious. Why are you focusing? I guess, I don't know. Oh, wow, they're waiting. I would have done that. You could have killed him. All right, so we're going to do this. Do this. We're like pretty dead, though. Um, doesn't really matter. Let's get aboard. He's dead. But at least they can't not attack next turn. And we have another captain uh, for next turn, so they cannot attack again. Of course, the Joker doesn't give a effing flying F about that. Uh, Joker's going to clear basically the whole board. Unless we get lucky and Ivy absorbs a good amount of the pings. How Jordan can still do some shenanigans. But he cannot do that four attack, which is huge. Ladama's going to be good if we ever get more gold, but we haven't played one gold yet, so she's kind of going to be a little bit useless. Oh, that's bad. Oh, never lucky, but again. Oh, well, that's just GG. Why are you... Why don't you just keep your minions intact, dude, and let the rest go to town? Well, he's very much wanting to get those ping back. if the joker goes down if he kills batman then that's just kind of gg oh my god it doesn't kill it but uh, it's so close see how this is so big yeah but we don't have a way of killing enchantress um oh Uh, we need to kill that. Where is our card advantage? From our first game, we had an amazing amount of card advantage. This turn, though, we don't. And we're about to lose the leader. We, we don't win this, guys. We never win this. It, it's just, we don't get our card draw. The mulligan, I think, was incorrect. And, um, yeah, it's just GG. GG. All right, yeah. Let's just move on. There's no way we win this. No way we win this. All right, let's go to the next one. Well, we have Bone Dog with Ivy and I actually think Har Harley is very much underrated. Uh, Doctor is actually good. Oh, well, not the worst start, but not the best. I think she's really good for Ivy because she gets to contest boards, has that aggressive package of anarchy yeah. three games today hopefully we get a win the first one was great we had a huge card advantage the second one we just i think mulligan incorrectly and this is a new deck for me so i need to learn the matchups and stuff but a combo deck like joker though it's going to be tough no matter what because uh, like you know combo decks tend to wreck control right but we'll see riddler goes down a lot pretty much and dark knight twice is actually really good well, I wish we would have had that for, um, oh, Enchantress is golden, so it wouldn't have mattered. It was a gold card, so it wouldn't have worked. Ooh, freeze, okay. Hmm, interesting. Do we ever put her? No, we don't. Oh, we also got, didn't get the Riddler in the first, second game, so that... Was a major part of our card advantage. Uh, we have no way of dealing with her right now. We might lose our Batman who laughs pretty quickly. But, uh, we'll see. Oh, well, that's actually pretty decent. We might use that as a blocker. Who knows? That could give us potential more card advantage and value. So it's really good. I thank you, Bone Dog. Where is he doing, Ivy? Oh, no, okay. Interesting. 
Wow, okay. We're way behind. Where's our calling when we need it? So we're going to have to do some... Uh, we're going to do that for sure. Do that for now. Let's do freeze. And then we'll do that. It protects the Riddler for at least one more turn. Well, not really, because they'll just hardly into the vine. And then they'll go to town. But they don't get good trades on the... Uh, 1-3 at least. So I'm assuming they're going to go... Sh Ooh, wow. Okay, so they're going to go there. And then they're going to definitely trade one into here. And they don't get a good trade. Ooh, that's pretty bad. But Doctorate is awesome! And definitely we could use that in our deck. Yeah, we'll see how this does. This is just too easily removed. Uh, well, easily removed. Whoa! Okay, so they do change things a little bit. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. So this dies. We never get... Did they forget to attack? Ooh, boom tube is actually really, really good here. Um, We gotta do this. We'll take that value trade. Let's we'll hit her in the dome. And then we'll put yeah we gotta edit him out guys because um uh oh we could have healed him uh we we need to get if since we took giganta out he's kind of a synergy for it so we'll have to definitely do that we could kill the vine next turn but uh yeah he's not exactly the best oh interesting okay all right well we gotta kill that Um, I'm going to do this because we got boom too big. Actually, this is really, really good. Of course, they could have calling as well. So that kind of sucks. Damn, we don't really get good trades here, though. We might have to change our plan here. So let's do this here. We're going to do this. I'd rather this die. And then uh, this isn't going to get good trade, so we're going to do... Ooh, man, we could do a couple things here. We're going to do this. Actually, that was a mistake. I changed my mind. So this goes to the dome. Um, yeah, that was a little misplay, guys. I, I changed my thought uh, in mid... I do a bad habit. Oh, 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 oh no, it's the wrong one. All right, so calling kind of wrecks us here, but we're way ahead on board, and it's a little bit of a card advantage. I'm telling you, the Riddler's such a great card. Yeah, it was a little bit of a blunder last turn. That's fine. I changed my mind. The misplays are real. As long as we keep card advantage here, guys, I think we're going to be okay. Okay, well, if we trade into there... Ooh, that's actually really good. Who are they going to attack? Face? That's going to be really good. I don't know if he ever lives to... We're going to have to suicide, unfortunately. So let's see what we do here. Oh, actually, you did me a big favor, buddy. So now... The calling kills everything, so I don't know if we do that. We definitely do this. Do that. Uh, do we ever can't be Kato'd and so on, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, that's a problem, though. I mean, we could play this, and if we play the trap, it just dies. We could do the calling to get rid of this. This goes to face, it dies, unfortunately. Then we could. I mean, we have no way of dealing with that. Um, we could do this. 
We could turn it, return it to hand to keep it. Um, do we ever do that? Uh, there's nothing else that I really want to return, so we'll do this. Do this. Because the uh, whatever I put just dies for free. Uh, I kind of think we do... Honestly, we need like card advantage and this is free so we could just do that as a blocker and then I kind of think we just do the trap because if we do if we do um, the others uh, We don't get card advantage and Harley doesn't attack so we're pretty much oh no Well, they could have their own calling which we get punished, but if not Okay That's actually pretty bad pretty bad but look at the value we're getting here all right so let's look at what we're doing here um that's fort there that doesn't do much Ooh, we definitely kill her um i kind of think we do let's and GG, all right, so we're two, two wins and one loss. So not bad. The first game was a big win. The second game was a loss. Third game was a charm. Uh, yeah. So hold on, let's do a recap of the deck. Hold on. All right, so we took Giganta out. So that means Lord Deathman probably should go, right? Who would, maybe, Amy? Oh, what else? Could, oh, man, Catman might be. Kite Man might be really good. It's free and it has Hunter, so it could do some good stuff. I can only attack leaders, though, so that's a little bit bad. We could put Killer. Uh, she's a little bit too easy to remove. We could also put Send in the Clowns. That's a really good control card. Uh, but. If I ever add her back, which I might, I mean, technically, I think this only came in to play once in the games, three games I played. Obviously, a very small sample size. It's a good card. Get me no wrong. I just like Gigantic because it adds more threats. The only thing is if you're behind and they have board, then she kind of gets killed, right? Obviously, they've had to put resources into it. This is just such a good swing in your favor so we'll, i don't know we're gonna put the clown send in the clowns because um i think it's an excellent card uh control card especially this if i ever put giganta back i have to do a sample size by maybe 20 games of each and see how it goes uh but i think um lord Deathman's excellent with if you have her because or any other of the discard cards you could put them in there but yeah so he didn't come into play for the three games this is just a, such a great card cold came in pretty clutch this did decent um a little sloppy plays on my part she did virtually nothing so we could maybe take her out but i think she's really good to keep maybe put another omega beans instead of her uh you know i don't know but yeah i really like the feel of this deck so we'll send in the clouds because he is a 2-2, but this is potentially, at worst case, a 2-2 as well. But at least it has charge. No, a 2-1 that has charge. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll mess around with this. this is a good control card, I think. Uh, another consideration would be actually Kite Man. But he can only attack heroes. But that is such an amazing start. If you could, you know, get a few chips with him, he's kind of easily to remove. Anyways, we'll definitely be playing a part 2 to this. Yeah, I really love the feel of it. I love control decks, as you guys know. Uh, uh, I do still think I could optimize a little bit better. I think, though, the bigger they are, it's just too good to not have. All right, guys, take care. Good night.